Hey everyone, welcome along to the channel today. Uh, it's been a few weeks since I've last been out actually. I've had a couple of weeks off. Um, I did go out a couple of weeks back. I'd been feeling really run down, but I went out with my Holger and the thing had light leaks all over it. So with how I was feeling, I just deleted the lot. Uh, had a bit of time away from sitting in front of the computer and stuff. So it's nice to be back out today, feeling much better. And today I am out with the new Mir 4x5. Uh, now if you watched my last video, uh, you would have seen uh, I had the first prototype version of this. Um, I took it out, gave him my thoughts and uh, opinions on it. Um, Andre, who designs it and uh, 3D prints it, uh, went back, redesigned it all, sorted out all the problems, hopefully. And um, yes, this is the second version. Um, I've got this in 35mm uh, focal, uh, aperture of 175. And yeah, I'll talk you through um, all the issues that have been sorted out, uh, any other little bits that might need sorting out, probably don't. And um, yeah, see what pictures we get of it today. So I'm loaded up with some uh, Family Power 100. Got a nice bright blue sunny day. So um, yeah, we'll have a little plod, see what we can find. Hopefully get some nice photos. Okay, so in my uh, last video, I didn't talk about the previous filter holder. It was different to this. I didn't really like it. It was the uh, kind of clamped it together so it'd hold the filter. Then it'd go on and it sat quite away from the camera. Um, I did do a little bit on my video on it, but I never put it because it kind of dragged the video a bit too long. Um, but it's all been redesigned anyway to be a lot, lot simpler. So this is for a, a Coke and P series filter size. It just kind of clicks in the back there. And then magnets on. So that is a lot nicer. Like I said, the other one was quite fiddly and um, I don't like things to be uh, overly complicated. I think if they can be done simply, do them simply. So anyway, I've got a first little shot set up. Uh, the camera's probably a little bit wide for this, but I figured I'd try it anyway. It's no harm in trying. So I've got about a 60 second exposure. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly show you a couple of things that were changed. <clears throat> uh, in the first lot of photos, they had a huge vignette around them. That was because of this area was too small and deep. Uh, so what's happened now is this has been made bigger and the shutter system has been sunk into the body. As you can see here. So previously that sat on top of the surface. Uh, that's actually resolved two problems. One, obviously the vignette and the second one is uh, it was getting a bit of a light leak around there, so now it being flush, it kind of um, stops that. Uh, so that's resolved two problems with that little design. Uh, the back has also been redesigned. Um, we found there were a couple of little light leaks coming in around the magnets, so they're now fully covered up, along with the whole shutter system to stop any light coming in from around here as well. Uh, that fits in a little bit better. These bits have been uh, improved. Um, originally, uh, he wanted this bit to be fixed, but I quite like the idea that it does come apart. So if you do get sand or grit in there, you can strip it all down, you can clean it all up. It makes it a lot more practical. Um, so that fits in there better now. I do think, because you've got the little magnets here, I have a couple of little magnets fitted on here as well, and that just slots straight on quite nice. But that'd be quite a nice little touch, I think. So, you know, let's find another photo.
Okay, so another quick shot set up. Gonna be a bit of a blare with the um, daffodils. Uh, I was gonna do one up the path, but the sun's right behind and I just would have had a big shadow. I might try it, just for the sake of it. Um, so yeah, have a 60 second exposure, red filter on. Now while I'm out, I've also got the uh, 6x6. Uh, I did uh, introduce this in my last video. Uh, I never actually used that one. Uh, Andre founded a few issues. Um, had this mad redesign, reprint, redesign, reprint session going on. Uh, make sure you go follow him on his Instagram. I'll put all his links below. Uh, you can see some of the progress and uh, some of his photos from it. Um, anyway, so he sent me another one, which is nicely being redesigned. I'm running the roll of film for it now. Um, and I will do a video just on this, uh, but this is a lovely little camera. Uh, so he's had some great photos from it. So I'm really, really looking forward to uh, using that. But yeah, there'll be a video just on this. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that one. Okay, so another thing that's been improved uh, since the last design is the back. Uh, I'd mentioned that um, the back is super, super strong. It adds some massive magnets there. Uh, so they have now been resized to a smaller magnet, so it's not so uh, hard to take the camera, uh, the back off. So it just clicks on and off a lot nicer now. And again, if you uh, saw my last one, you'd know that this is pretty much light tight as well when it's fitted, which I tested. It clicks nicely on. That just covers it all up. Please. Okay, so another shot. This nice gra grave in the church. Another minute red filter. Just on my way to my last spot for a couple of photos, which is the smallest church in Sussex over there. Uh, I was here a couple of weeks back actually, and then um, I got one shot inside and then accidentally pulled the dark slide from the wrong side of the camera out with my 045 and ruined the shot. So I'm hopefully going to try and recapture that today. If I get there today, the dog's on a insanely go slow today, so he's I hope we get there today. <laughs> okay, got my first shot set up here. I'm in the shade, the sun's kind of behind the church at the minute, so the sky's gonna be completely blown out. But I just want to try this composition uh, with the bench looking at the church quickly, then I'll do one from inside, which I hopefully won't ruin. So I've got a 1 minute 20 second uh, exposure here. So I was going to do a photo inside. Uh, I just took a meter return and um, <clears throat> with uh, aperture of 175, Femipan 100 indoors gets me uh, exposure of about 32 minutes. I've not got time for 32 minutes today. <laughs> so 
I'm not doing that. I know I said that's what I come here for, but uh, so I'm not doing that. Um, so I'm just going to try and grab maybe another quick shot outside um, from maybe a slightly different angle. Okay, so I've decided not to do a last photo there. Um, I think I'll just take one a random photo somewhere and just share it at the end of this video. Uh, so what do I think of the newly improved Mir 4x5? Um, firstly, oh, I almost dropped it. It is, uh, the differences are small, but it will certainly make a huge, huge difference. If you saw my last video, like I could say there's lots of vignetting on them. This having the uh, larger bevel and the shutter system sunk in, it's gonna make a huge difference to that. And also uh, sinking in the shutter system is going to be reducing and getting rid of them light leaks. Um, the insert which goes in, that has been improved and fits in a lot better. It would be nice if that had maybe a couple of little magnets on just so it kind of clipped in and stayed. Uh, when the film holder's not in there, it will get knocked about a little bit and um, you'll hear it rattling about inside. So that'd be nice just to have that. Um, the back with some smaller magnets which is put on makes a big difference. It was, a, yeah, admittedly it was a little bit of a struggle, but um, it certainly felt secure. It still feels secure though. It's just easier to take it off. Uh, so yeah, I think this is absolutely fantastic. Oh yeah, also the filter holder, much better than the last one. Uh, I know I didn't really show the last one in the video, um, but this is uh, so, so, so much nicer. Uh, I feel I can just leave that on there. Uh, the last one, it would have got knocked about a bit and fallen apart. And So yeah, really, really pleased with this. Um, it's certainly something I feel I'd be confident with taking all over the place, taking it out of my kayak and my paddle board, because uh, I know I can strip it down and clean it up, which is a huge, huge advantage. Uh, so hopefully, Andre will be making these available at some point. Uh, I know he's said about setting up an Etsy store where you'll be able to choose your focal length, uh, hopefully your colours. And I think one of the nice things uh, is this, uh, the Penal cameras are called Mia. Uh, Andre is Italian, Mia in Italian means mine. And one of the nice things with this is you make this camera yours, you can personalise it. Uh, so I think the name really, really suits the camera as well. Um, but yeah, really pleased with it. Well, obviously, I'll see the photos in a bit. I'll, I've shared them along with the video. Um, but yeah, well done, Andre. Absolutely beautiful. And I say the next video will probably be out with the 6x6. I'm gonna get a roll for a film developed with that first just to make sure everything's fine. And then I'll get out with that. Uh, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. Make sure you check out Andre's Instagram page where you'll see a few of his photos of the cameras as well. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for joining me on this. Uh, I'll update you as he updates me. I'll be out with this again soon. And yeah, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.